In the last episode, what I spoke about, I suppose, is three essential components of any marketing approach. And the three are data, which tells you, to some extent, the what and the who of what's going on. Then there's behavioral science, which tells you, or at least enables you to hypothesize about the why. And finally, there's creativity, which effectively provides the what if. And my argument is, if you don't have those three components, you're not completely functioning. Now, each of these things, as I'll talk about in this session, bring a kind of problem in that the very existence of what ifs and hypothetical whys often leads to discomfort with marketers from the rest of the organization. And in order to understand that, I think, you need to understand that everywhere else in an organization, there are kind of right answers. You can define success in advance, and you know exactly when you've got there. You can define success in purely numerical terms, and there probably is a right way, a best way, a best practice to go about doing it. Now, one of the problems when you get creative, when you work in a complex system like human behavior, is there's more than one right answer. And perhaps more surprising still, as I say in my book, the opposite of a good idea can be another good idea. And this seeming ambiguity, which is just a property of complex system dynamics, really, and nothing else. It's the fact that psychology um, and human individual behavior, and even more so human collective behavior, uh, don't obey the rules of Newtonian physics. This tends to lead to extraordinary discomfort and what you might call suspicion, perhaps, uh, with the rest of an organization. If people are in logistics, if people are in operations, if people are in finance, they like to pretend, at least, that they operate in a world which is knowable, predictable, and kind of measurable. It kind of has an internal consistency. It's legible. It's comprehensible. And so to them, marketing is in some ways, an unpleasant place to be because it's adding that degree of uncertainty, um, counterintuitiveness, general oddity, which, to be honest, they rather wasn't playing a part in their working lives. And so part of what I'm going to talk about today is what makes the job of the marketer difficult. Because, as I said, there are those three essential things, which is understanding the what and the who of human behavior, understanding the why of human behavior, and the what if, the asking questions about what other things we could get people to do, either immediately or over time, either individually or collectively. And we badly need those three things, but without a fourth thing, which is the respect of people outside the marketing fraternity, um, I don't think the three things on their own will do the job.